are courtside. Joining me now is head coach of the men's basketball team here at FDU is Coach Greg Herenda. And Coach, we're at Rutgers, and that was a tough loss. But, man, you guys had Rutgers on the ropes quite a few times, the way you took it to them, especially in the second half. But, you know, t take me through that game, that progression. At the half, I guess you, I think you were down, you were up by one, and Rutgers slowly made inroads into your lead in the second half. What changed in that game and eventually giving Rutgers the win? Well, we were up two. I count every point. <laughs> you know, when, we're, when, when you get a lead on a Big Ten court, that's Im important. And really, that was the, the, the genesis of our problem. We should have been up ten, maybe eight to ten mm -hmm. points at the half to have a cushion because you knew they were going to make a run. But we just didn't play well enough to win. And most significantly, we didn't shoot it well enough. When we, we, we missed um, 13 free throws and 17 threes. And... That's the game. And, and for us, when we make free throws, that gets us into our pressure package, and it makes our defense better. So when you miss free throws, um, it puts more pressure on our half-court defense. And we had a lot of open looks from three, and that would have extended the lead. So, But I think at the end of the day, you know, losing that game just brings us back down to earth. If we won the game, we'd be 5-6 and six and mm -hmm. would be the Big Ten team. And now the kids come back to practice – uh, for the conference play, and maybe they don't listen as much. We had a great practice this morning. Um, we got back to defending and rebounding and back to the, the, the basics, and we're just excited about starting Northeast uh, conference play. You've said the last two games against Towson and against Rutgers, those were your final exams. Right. In your eyes now, the exams are over. What are you, what do you take out of it? How do you think you guys did? No, I, I told our team we got an A- against Towson because that was a game where – you know, we played really, really well, made a lot of great plays um, to win the game, but still could have done some things better. And we had a B minus at, um, at Rutgers. So, you know, those are two good grades against two really high quality basketball teams. One, a very good CAA team and another, you know, Big Ten in-state in rival. So I think we, we still have a lot of growing to do. We, we have to get better shooting the basketball and defending it and at the end of the day that's what basketball's about you got to stop your opponents and you got to put the ball in the basket but our work ethic our chemistry our depth our ability to go to different people mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of options I, I like where we're at but we need to get better um, to win in the league and our goal is to get to the national tournament to get to the NCAA and the way you do that is by getting into the NEC tournament uh, we were picked ninth so people think that we're young and not that good. And I think people that have watched us know that that's not the case. But we now have to prove it. We have got to get into the top eight. Uh, we have some goals that we've set uh, as a team. And, and I think we're prepared to, you know, attain those goals. But it's going to be a lot of work. But, but I love the group. I say it all the time. I love my team and I love the challenge here. And, and right now we just get better every day. You know, I think a lot of people, when they see – after you in person at the beginning of the year, what they notice is the athleticism on your team, a lot of right. raw athleticism, and I think we've seen it grow through the non-conference schedule. Well, now the conference schedule begins on Saturday against St. Francis of Brooklyn. You've said that the NEC is very sort of cramped together. A lot of teams are very close together. You had this first opening game against St. Francis of Brooklyn. What's your approach in the first game of the conference? I think it's just like we we approach every game. It's, it's every single possession for – for 40 minutes or more we've got to take care of the basketball we got to play good defense now you know people know how we play and know how and we know how our opponents play so it's it's a matter of just grinding out wins in our first week we have four games so we almost have 20 percent of our season of our conference season is over within a week mm -hmm. but you got to win every game you have to win your home games which we did not do last year we had some heartbreak loss uh, losses here, but we need to win our home games and go on the road and win. And we, we've proven that we went to Lafayette and won. We lost to Delaware by one. We had a lead at half at Rutgers. So I think this is a team, and we play a game that uh, transfers from home to road. But you take care of your home games, and you go steal games on the road. And um, every game is going to be competitive because I think our conference is very well balanced. But we're, we're right there. I don't, I don't look at anybody and look up or look down. We look eye to eye and um, I think we have the potential to 
to do some real good damage in the league. When you say not look up, not look down, when you see who you're playing on Monday, which is Bryant, who they're 2-10, and 10, they've struggled this year. Right. And there is something to be said about, you know, teams that may be struggling. Do you try to reel your team back? Do you even need to do that? When, or do you even look at, do they even look at schedules or records or anything like that? Or is it just opponent versus opponent, take the record, throw it out the window? No, I think our, our league is in a position where we, we need to play high conference games um, for a lot of reasons. Monetary is one of them. We go out and play a lot of guarantee games, and I'm talking about our whole league. So I don't think you can look at Bryant as being 2-10 and because they've played, you know, I think they've played Georgetown, they played Michigan, they played Boston College. They've, you know, our, our league records, and I think we're in the top maybe four or five in our league in records non-conference, but they're really hard to look at because we play such a difficult uh, schedule and that's everybody in the Northeast Conference so those records are really they skew the facts the facts are that there are a lot of good teams and everyone can beat everyone anyone and uh, last year to prove the point Robert Morris was 0-10 non-conference and won our conference mm -hmm. tournament um, and went and played Duke tough so I think all these games make all of our teams in our conference better and uh, so then when it gets to league play, I think yeah, you can just about throw all, you know, all the records out the window. Well, Coach, good luck. Looking Jai, forward to your uh, start of conference play. Happy New Year.